All right, hi there, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at LiveWire 4. Caleb tweeted this tweet, he will be announcing it next week. Actually, he will be releasing it next week. And this is uh, the stuff that I think will be used at our company the most. So if you like what I'm doing here, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe and share it with your friends. And without further ado, let's let's dive in LiveWire 4 and what I think are the, yeah, the awesome stuff the awesome things that are included in there. So um, let's start off with um, creating components. So basically, when I create a component, PHP Artisan, um, Artisan Make Livewire, um, well, we could do test component, and this would create a component for us back in the day with a blade file and um, um, uh, a PHP file. This will be a single file component from now on. We can explicitly say I want a multi file component as well, just dash dash MFC for multi file component. Um, and we can also create pages now. So if we create pages, small p, page, pages, let's say projects.edit already exists. Of course, I already created that. Uh, let's say books, right? Books, books edit and books create. That will create a folder for us. Whoops, create, there we go. That will create a folder for us with a single file component inside for each one of them. So let's have a look how that looks. So I have books, 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 and two single file components, which basically is a class and a part of blade underneath it. I can easily, if I say like, like I, I, if I don't want single file components, I can do livewire convert and let's convert the book, uh, books.create like that. And this will actually transform or actually convert our um, single file component create into a multi file component. So and it replaces it with another folder with a blade file and PHP file. And I think this is pretty cool. This is Yeah, this is awesome. I, I, I think I will be using that to create stuff and then split it out into multi file components afterwards for the structure and stuff. So the front end team can do their stuff with the blade uh, file and we as backenders can do the stuff with the PHP file. So yeah, I think this is pretty nice. So that brings me to the next step is placeholders. Um, imagine you have a big part uh, of data in your database and you want to do some animation while the data has been fetched from the database. Well, we can use placeholders for that. So um, if I click this page, fetching data, and once the data is ready, it's instantly replaced. Um, we could do this with a lot of stuff, but um, let me see placeholder page like that. Um, dun, dun, dun. So the placeholder page has a placeholder example component and this is lazy loaded. So if I remove the lazy, if I refresh, this will take a while until it's ready and then it's instantly rendered once it is ready. So what is in here is the component itself is the um, example here. Yes, there we go. This has a blade directive add placeholder and add end placeholder. And this part will be shown while the data is fetched from the database. And once it's ready, it, this will be replaced with um, this part right here. And in the PHP part, we have in our class actually, in the mount function, I have a sleep of two seconds. And that's it. Uh, so if I go back to the placeholder page and I put lazy back here, and I refresh here, I have fetching data. Once it's ready, it's replaced. I think this is pretty nice and I will be using this one for sure, um, no doubt. This brings me to islands. Um, I think this is awesome as well. So I have, I will show you the code. This, this makes it a lot easier to explain what I'm doing here, uh, this one. Okay, so uh, no, this is not this one. I'm very sorry, islands is here, example one. Yes, there we go. So I have three divs. 
div 1, 2 and 3 and the second one has a wire pole of 5 seconds. Um, then in here I have set timeout, just a normal JavaScript function, uh, which replaces, so actually removes the red text and places black text instead. Uh, this will only be, yeah, ran once. Afterwards, uh, LiveWire can't initiate this script again. So this gives us the effect of red text. After one second, it's turning uh, black. And after five seconds, the polling kicks in and it's replaced back with red text. And as you, as you can see, this re-renders all three of my divs, which sometimes with big, large pages and a lot of data is not ideal. This is uh, something that, yeah, is fixed with islands. Now we can have the, the same stuff, red text, transition to black text, and after five seconds, the div with polling is re-rendered. And the other two stay the same. If we see this in code, we isolate in an island, I think the naming is perfect here, um, with add island and add end island, everything in between here lives on its own. So this wire pole does not affect anything outside of that island. And I think this is awesome. This will definitely change how we deal with large applications and real time stuff um, later. Uh, yeah. When, it's, when this is available. Uh, and I'm sure at our company we'll be using islands a lot in the future. So thank you, Caleb, for this. This is, this is awesome. All right, so this brings me to yet another awesome part, persistence. Imagine you have two pages with the same component on it and you want to share what's in that component or update it in that component between pages. Um, for example, current behavior, just a clicker. Um, I can show you the code, but you know how a clicker works, right? You click the button, it's incremented, and it's instantly updated. If I go back to my island and go back to persistence, it's back to zero, which is normal behavior. But now, if we um, wrap this into a blade directive called um, at persist, and we give the name, and if we have another page, like page number two, with the same name the data of our component inside that persistent persist directive will be shared and synchronized so if i refresh if i increment here to seven if i go to page number two the seven remains if i click again to 11 and i go to page one it it stays the same and i think this is whew, pure magic i really like this this will be um giving us the opportunity to share data in our body without messing around with anything else. Do be aware, we need live wire navigation, so wire navigate to between the, the pages to make this work, which is fine, I guess. We, we are used to using uh, wire navigate. So yeah, I think this is pretty awesome. So, well, this was it. This was... Uh, placeholders, islands, and persistence, persist directive. Um, these are the ones that I'm looking forward to use when this is released. Um, I played around a little bit with them, and I think it's it's it will be a game changer for how we build larger applications with a lot of data um, and a lot of stuff going on with polling and, and reverb, for example, um, without refreshing the whole page or re-rendering the whole page, just that one small part that needs to be rendered and all the other parts that ha have a lot of data as well that isn't touched won't be re-rendered. I think this is amazing. So if you like what we're doing here, give the like, give the thumbs up, share it with your friends and like and subscribe. And if, yeah, if you have any questions, I, by the way, I, I want to know what you're looking forward to to use and what you're going to build with Livewire 4. So take care and I will see you in one of the next videos. Bye-bye.